Assalamualaikum and hello everyone who watching this video. My name is Shafika Sofian and I'm going to be speaking to you on ER model for database management system or DBMS for tourism destinations in Kedah. To begin, tourism is one of the important catalysts in world economy, but now the tourism activity has slowed down since the pandemic COVID-19 and indirectly affected the whole world, including Malaysia. The main problem that has been highlighted is where the local authorities are lacking of information in gather tourism database and unable to promote tourism destinations in their own respective areas. Aim of this paper is to develop ER model for database management system for tourism destinations in Kedah. The ER model will be used as a graphical method of representing objects or entities of a database, all important relationships between the entities, and all attributes of either entities or relationships which must be captured in the database. It also involves several stages that will be explained later. According to Madison and Wall 1982, Tourism is all about a movement of individual or a group away from their normal places and residence. Posse 1998, cited by Peter Masson 2015, has come up with two key variables of tourism. The first one is internal tourism and the second one is national tourism. For internal tourism, it is referring to a region within a country, while for national tourism it is within a country or Territory. While Lecturer and Elena 2008 mentioned that types of tourism are keep on changing by the time and situation, different places bring a different kind of meaning at a different time. Data Based Management System or DBMS on the other hand, are specially designed application software packages that interact with the user, other applications, and the database itself to capture, query, and analyze data. There are several steps to be followed in the formation of a database model framework before it can be generated. Each of the procedures allow data to be gathered from various data sources. These could be from primary or secondary data. The procedures could then be done as follows. The first one is classification of the types, specifications, and limits of the data to be included in the process. Next, retrieving the data into the long standing data which is stored itself. Third one is managing the database. Fourth, querying the database to retrieve the requested data. And the last one is updating and editing the data from the database. In constructing a framework study in any field, the use of certain data by categorizing it into many forms of characteristic is necessary to achieve that the aim of the research can be effective. Apart from that, the ER model should be framed together with the output of the study. So, what is actually ER model? ER model is stands for the Entity Relationship Model. According to Paris 1995, ER model is about to describe subjects of significance to the organization on which it is inclined to theory propose that all matter and the characteristic of attributes and the relationships between pairs of certain points of interest. The model consists of three parts, including conceptual model, logical model, and physical model. Conceptual model represents the terminology of an entity. Logical model describes the data as much detail. And the last one is physical model, which comprises in detail of the characteristic for conceptual and logical model. 
Now, let's start on how ER model for DBM, DBMS can be used for tourism in Kedah by going through these three stages. First, we need to structure the ER model and express in graphic. We use symbol to represent entity and attribute. For entity, we use rectangle. For attribute, we use ellipse. And for line, we use to represent or to show the links or connection between attributes and entity sets. Perceptual design will describe as each area in the state should be an entity and have a location that can be identified using spatial data, which is a state of Kedah map. So there are 12 districts in Kedah, so we need 12 entities to be formed. The diagram shows how that 12 entities transferred into graphic. Next is logical design will detail the entities that have been formed. At this level, primary and foreign keys were determined. So we have decided that there will be five main information that might attract tourists to come to place of interest in Kedah, including nama tempat, lokasi, jenis pelancongan, tarikan pelancongan, and maybe you can add some photos or videos. Last stage is physical design. Physical design should follow the logical data model as close as possible while adding the optimizing items to conform to a specific database and platform. Entities and attributes will be transformed into table structure where entities will convert into table and attributes becomes columns. This table structure will also be created including attribute name, attribute data type and attribute constraints. As a conclusion, this paper explains how ER models can be used in the design of a database for an organization to store important data or information. As in the case of tourism for Kedah State, sharing information is very important for people who are interested in visiting the tourist area and indirectly promoting the tourism of the Kedah State. By designing an ER model, local authorities can use this method in GIS software such as MapInfo Spatial Data and Attribute Data and can be shared or accessed by public and specifically tourists. For further research, the use of GIS software for each MapInfo in spatial form and data attributes for the tourism sector will be formulated so that the data can be accessed and shared with the public. I hope this presentation can make impossible possible. Those issues regarding unorganized data and lack of tourism promotion can lead to further studies or recommendations to improve tourism economy. Thank you for your time. Bye.